Hi guys, in this video, we will solve the error required is not defined. This happens when we want to export uh, our module in another JS file. Um, I will use Webpack to solve this error, uh, so just follow along. Um, but one thing I need to tell you is that I am using WordPress theme starter template named Understrap. If you are not using WordPress, solution will still work for you. First thing we're gonna need to do is npm install webpack and babel for babel reset env environment at babel polyfill babel loader for js and Save them. So I already installed this uh, node modules. Um, so I'm not gonna ex execute this. In your part, you need to do this uh, for the webpack to work. Next, we need to create webpack config file in our root workspace. First, we need the path. And the another path from our default gulp file JS. We call this config. Basically, this gulp config.json is this. What's inside that is this. Okay, our browser sync options and paths for our folder structure. So another one, uh, we need this path, the final path. Equals config cfg dot path. Okay, so when we use this path, we can get the root location for example this source js or our css or our sas this folder structure is um from understrap understrap give us already all this file so we just need to use them now this is how we write uh, our webpack configuration entry <coughs> uh, that tab paths that tab is the source our source folder okay So slash js inside this js and then that's index dot js and the uh, other one is the output in a second uh, I will explain you this So what this does is in our webpack so this is our our webpack configures okay so it says that module exports entry our entry is this, this the source and in, in js index this is where the webpack will read the javascript files that we write and the output but is the the output is the file that webpack will generate for us okay so it says the name the name is default name is the main so this the output file will be main bundle.js okay next module rules
so in here um here the test says that we read this entry the javascript file and we exclude we exclude uh, the node modules we don't need to read that the js file that we read we use the bubble loader the bubble loader is the javascript compiler for the browser and it, uh, we need this for the webpack and javascript to work and then next is mode will tell the, the development mode development it can be um production or development when we use the webpack or some kind of tool like this uh the if you want to study webpack uh, you can just look at the documentation so next is this bubble loader needs the babel rc file if you do not have the babel rc file you need to create one this that that babel rc then write this presets babel preset enb this built-in usage for js3 basically this use built-ins is um, um babel configuration that uh, we need to declare here for the polypill to work okay next in our after we write webpack config files uh, configuration and bubble rc we need to now to write some codes here in the web file.js first we need to declare our webpack webpack equals require webpack okay now uh, next is we need to require again our this config file in our gulp this is the the gulp script that the gulp is using to return that error in the browser i don't know what uh, why it gives us error so my solution is to write my own configuration using a webpack so gulp that task we will call it web pack scripts function returns web pack and we will require the After that, we will create another function to handle the error and the status. And we will, uh, if the error is there, then console.log error to string to string. Okay. But if there is no error, we will console that log status that string. Okay. Then we'll say that the webpack, uh, all this executions, all this execution is done. Okay. Now if we run the gulp web pack scripts um okay wrong it needs a dash web pack scripts done there we go the comp compiled successful webpack scripts 
now after this after we run that gulp web pack scripts the from here the js folder here the, it will generate the main that bundle.js here main bundle.js in wordpress you need to change the functions php name that one i have here the team meaning twin js verify js it's uh, all the default um wordpress understrap uh codes so i need to modify so i need to name i need to change this name to main that bundle that js and say see if this will solve our problem so so we will refresh ah okay so we need to in our index js i um, declare two of this maybe we need to remove one module that exports we need, i need to um comment this and then in our um custom javascript uh, okay import test mode from index and test mode new test mode and test module print that hello that we have here print hello okay and then we will run again the gulp web pack scripts i think this will solve our problem okay finish successfully again we will refresh the browser oh but it did not hmm. module exports index.js Ah, okay it's the other way around uh, we need to put this to here and the other one is to be put here okay and then we need to run again the gulp webpack scripts Then we run again this web of more what's the top of tractor. The fault is not a constructor, it says export the fault test module here. Import test module from index test mod uh, what's happening? imported as test mode is not was not found in index was not found in index yes 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 this is the custom this must be the custom javascript okay that js okay that's um in durable okay this is the final repress okay this will be the, the day will be begun now okay there you go hello world why is it the lava why is it two so we need to comment this out and run again the webpack scripts and then refresh again there you go it solves the require is not defined um thank you for watching guys if this solves your if this solved your problem just leave a comment or any drastic comment or if you don't like the video uh, you can dislike it but if you like it uh, please leave me a thumbs up and if you like to subscribe please just click the button subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next video